fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. It was a late, moonless summer night. My friend Jay and I were coming back from, a, from somewhere that we never should have been. There were raindrops on the windshield, and there was, a, there was a storm moving in. We could have stopped and waited the storm out, but we kept on going, relying on our optimism and our instincts that we'd make it through this new ordeal unscathed. We chose to keep going, and about two miles after we made the decision to keep on going, what do we see? Wait a second. Could it be? A porch light. Cars and trucks on the drive. Lots of people. Loud music. We immediately felt relieved. We stopped at a house off the side of a dirt road. What we needed was nourishment, a dry, warm place to stay for a couple hours before we headed out again, and something to quench our thirsts. Then what do we see welcoming us to this eminent paradise? Could it be? It was someone we should readily recognize. Alan from The Hangover? <laughs> That's how it <laughs> Hello, he says so calmly. How about that ride in? That's scary. Welcome to the compound. Out of his satchel, he pulls out two super cold beverages and hands them to Jay and me. How does he do it? I whisper to Jay. I don't know, man. I don't know. But he's the man. The myth. The legend. <laughs> Thanks, Alan, Jay says to him as you walk through the front door. To our astonishment, we see chicks. So many of them. Yellow, brown, black. Oh my gosh, I wonder what is this place? They were running around, bobbing their heads, flapping around in their coop. <laughs> Ah, uh, you must have met the ladies! Our source of eggs every morning for breakfast. <laughs> Our hands are out back, actually. This is the new group. Jay and I were quickly greeted by the lord of the manor, Mr. Travolta. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode, gentlemen. Where the beverages flow and the good times roll. <laughs> Giving me his powerful two-pup handshake. You see, boys, this place has been a uh, pit stop for many a uh, tree trimmer or avocado farmer for for twenty some year, twenty some odd years now. Even some of the lo local horse riding or lumberjack folk stop by their favorite watering hole and before they head off home. It seemed to Jay, it seemed to like Jay and me that we stopped at the right place. As Mr. Travolta went on to greet the regulars, we heard this odd meowing sound coming from the direction of the kitchen. The meowing got louder and louder, as it would appear to be a tabby cat walking out of the kitchen. <laughs> hey Adam, how are you meowing today? cried Alan. So meowing perfect, Alan, Jay and I suddenly heard Adam say. Jay asked me, did that cat just talk? I said, yes it did, with my eyes wide open. That's a cat owner. I've heard, I've heard so many good things about him, or it. Look at him, all orange and fluffy. <laughs> Jay picks him up. Hey, quit. Watch where you put your hands, you punk. Adam says to Jay. And he takes a quick bite of his hand. Ah, no biting, Adam, Jay says back. Now, we, uh, I tell Jay, come on, let's, let's go to the backyard and finish our beverages out there. So we step in the backyard. It's all lit up, a flood, lit up by a floodlight. The smell of dry dirt in the air. The smell of wet dirt in the air. I'm a, my, my mistake. And there was there were a group of lumberjacks, all complete with big beards and wearing flannel, with beverages in hand, and play horseshoes. <laughs> Look at these two rooks, one of the mountain men said. These two guys don't know what they what they've got themselves into today. A feeling of trepidation washed over me as I saw five more uneasy, bearded, burly men stand up with their pickaxes, hatchets, and saws. Uh, Jay, uh, Albert, I think we gotta go. 
<laughs> no, wait. I thought, although I was scared, I thought that maybe we could cool the situation down a bit by sharing a beverage with them. As soon as I heard the rip of a pull cord of a chainsaw, I knew it was time to go. Jay out now. He ended up running to the house, out to the car, all the while screaming my name, Albert, Albert, Albert. I tried to turn and run as well, but I couldn't. My legs felt like concrete. I was just stationary. I couldn't move. The lumberjack with his chainsaw got closer and closer and closer. I started yelling, help, 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 all the while the Jay was going, Albert, 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 and over the roar of the chainsaw. The volume of noise just got louder and louder and louder. It got deafening. And there was, this, there was this shaking in my shoulder, just pulling me. I don't know what it was, as if Jay was waking me and I was at Buffalo Wild Wings still at happy hour. <laughs> passed out on the table. <laughs> Apparently from a long, day, long and hard day at work. <laughs> and so my backwards fantasy, or nightmare if you will, had come to a close. But it didn't seem like it until I saw a bearded, tree trimming, beverage in handed, Early man sitting sitting there at the bar looking my way. Thank you. <laughs>